long does a paraglider last? That is a very common question that I get from new people interested in the sport. The answer is too long. <laughs> Everybody's thinking, oh, I don't want a glider to wear out. Yeah, you, the gliders are way overbuilt. You don't want a glider to last 80 years. 20 to 30 years is more than plenty. You have to think about a paraglider kind of like tires on a Porsche 911 Turbo on your sports car. Do you want to put tires on your sports car that last 100,000 miles? Or do you want the tires that last 10,000 miles and wear out really fast? Yeah, you want the tires that wear out really fast because that's what gives you the performance. Same with a paraglider. You want a balance, obviously. You don't want the tires that wear out in 15 miles, but you don't want them so hard that you don't have the performance. Basically, with a paraglider, every paraglider out there is pretty overbuilt. Now, the very lightest weight cloth such as like Skytex 27, it wears out much faster, three, five years maybe, um, then you could have a little bit of a problem. So the Dominator is, we don't use the absolute lightest cloth, we use a step up from that to a glider that can last, you know, 20, 30 years, but the weight difference is about one pound. So it's only one pound. Many gliders are double to triple the weight of the Dominator and their longevity, since they're not using the super high-tech cloth, their longevity isn't any better. So it's about the same. So with the Dominator, you've got the highest tech cloth. It does cost a little bit more, but you're getting the longevity while also having almost the lightest possible weight. But weight is a big factor. One pound, okay, we, we're, I was okay to go with the durability and the longevity and sacrifice that one pound so you had a much tougher, more durable glider. But I'm not willing to double the weight with no benefit. I'd much rather spend a little extra money and get the high-tech cloth where you get the lightest weight and durability, um, but not the absolute lightest. Now, lightweight is great because the lighter the weight, the less wind it takes for the glider to stay above you and the less likely it's going to stall on you during the slow takeoff and launch. When you pull up a glider or you pull it up reverse and you turn to go, if there's any hesitation and you've got a glider that weighs 19 pounds, that glider is obviously much more likely to stall than a glider like a Dominator that might weigh seven pounds. So weight is very, very important to a point. You know, they're at the very lightest weight versus an extra half pound to a pound, you know, there's something you could talk about. But double or triple in the weight, total waste of time. And you definitely don't need it even heavier than that because, you know, you're never gonna keep and fly the same glider for 30 years. It's more like, think about it more like a computer or cell phone. You know, you might keep it for a couple of years. Well, cell phone, you're almost every year they design them to fail. But say your computer. Your computer, you're really only going to keep it for three, four, five, six, seven, eight years. And then you're going to get something faster and you're going to replace it. Well, paraglider should be looked at more like that where you're going to upgrade it long before you actually wear it out. So it's an interesting question because it's a common one. People think, oh, I don't want my glider to wear out like super fast and blah, blah, blah. Uh, the other one is they think that a lightweight glider is a weak glider. That's false. I hear a big lie is people like, oh, that glider's lightweight. You can tear it like tissue paper. Well, then how does it pass the same load test as every other glider? <laughs> no, sorry, that's not how it works. It doesn't matter the weight of the glider. They all pass the same load tests and safety certifications. So if it passed the safety certifications and load tests, strength is not an issue because it's been load tested to 2,530,000 pounds. So you're definitely not breaking it regardless. Even if it has the lightest weight cloth, you're not breaking it or carrying it 
like it's tissue paper. It doesn't work that way. The strength and the tear resistance is there. It's just the longevity of the glider, of that cloth, of the lightest weight cloth, is a little dis diminished between that one step up to the high-tech cloth that's just a little heavier weight that gives you the longevity uh, and with all the other benefits and characteristics. So there's a lot to it. Ultimately, you really shouldn't be the one choosing your glider. You want the guy with the massive experience choosing the glider for you because then you benefit from all of my experience in my entire life of flying, doing things nobody else on earth can do and all of that is working in your favor to know exactly what you're going to experience and how best to stack the odds in your favor. So, you know, how fast or how long do gliders last? Not the best question. The best question is just, you know, who do you listen to? Where do you buy your glider? You get your glider from the guy that knows what he's talking about and is going to make sure that you get the very best for your money the first time so you don't have to waste a pile of money getting horrible gliders. So there you go, tip for the day. I mean, you naturally come through super training, we take care of you, you get to try like 50 different gliders and see for yourself why we all fly the Dominator, which is big because I can tell you this one versus that one, but if I let you play with 50 different gliders like at super training, you're gonna very quickly realize why everybody's begging for a Dominator because it just, is that good. So very, very cool. Do it the right way. Come to the people that know what the heck they're talking about and we'll automatically make sure that you get the gear that we personally fly, the gear that I trust my life to, the gear I trust my children's life to, and my family. That's the gear you should be flying. So give us a call and we will fix you up the right way. Let's go flying.